So at Aperio, we've been using Chatter for quite a while. You may have seen our uh, social PS Enterprise demo at Dreamforce 09. If you missed that, you can check out that video on, on YouTube. It's pretty sharp. So we've been developing some internal apps using Chatter with Visual Force and Apex, but I wanted to do something a little different, so naturally I thought of a, a Chatter Twitter app. So this is a demo of an app running on Google App Engine, which uses OAuth to authenticate against my um, Twitter account, and then I'm sending status updates back and forth to Chatter and Twitter using Google App Engine and the partner API for Salesforce. So, so this is the, uh, the application right here, and uh, the first screen you get to is the, uh, the login screen. It's asking you to authenticate to Twitter with, with OAuth. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And this takes me over to Twitter, and it uses the OAuth, and it shows you this standard screen for um, Twitter. And this is actually you get this screen by registering a new um, application with Twitter. So it gives you some information about the application, trying to access your account, and what type of access you're providing to your Twitter feeds. So I'm going to go ahead and, and allow that. Now that's going to go ahead and authenticate me, and then send me back to, to my App Engine app. So this is the main screen for the application, and there are basically three things you can do here. You can go and grab your latest Twitter update and send it to Chatter. You can take your latest Chatter update and send that out as a tweet. Now, this is typically something you do not want to do since um, Salesforce and Chatter is a private model and you don't want to be sending out your internal um, status updates to Twitter, but just for academic purposes, I wanted to kind of show how that's done. And then I have a, a, a form here where you can enter in a status update and it sends out that to both Chatter and Twitter at the same time. So f let me see here. So this is actually, um, I have a sandbox org that we have Chatter enabled that. And uh, this is my last status update in this sandbox. And then I have my Twitter account. And this is the last tweet I have for Twitter. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go and grab my last tweet and send that to Chatter. So let's go ahead and we're going to click right here. All right, so now I just said it's, it's at the last tweet sent to Chatter. So now if I go up here and hit refresh, you'll see there's, there it is right here. Okay. So now I think I want to send I want to send my last chatter status update to Twitter. So let me actually go back here and I want to send this one right here. So let me delete this last one so I don't have duplicate ones going out. So okay. So now I'm going to send this status update to Twitter. So let me go back here and click the second link here. So we're going to send this chatter update to Twitter. All right, so I sent that out. And now if I go over and refresh my timeline, you'll see that was sent. And notice here also you get this chatter tweet for Salesforce. That's the name of my app engine application. So now I can do here, I can go back and let's go ahead and send out an update to both of them. Building apps for is fun. Let's go ahead and send this out. So now if I look here in Chatter, my sandbox, I get my latest update right here. And now let me refresh my timeline in Twitter. And then you'll see that. So that's a small demo of using an app engine to integrate between Twitter and Chatter and allows you to send updates back and forth and integrate the two together.